Hi, I'm Sylvie from Steamboat Creates, and we are going to be doing a Young at Art from Home series. It'll be a series of different craft and art project ideas that you can do made from simple materials at home. So today we're gonna to be making things out of newspaper. So you'll wanna get out some newspaper, and we're gonna do three simple newspaper fashion projects. So what we'll start off with is one sheet of newspaper. So you'll wanna go in and just separate one paper from all of the rest. And what you're gonna do first is take some scissors and try to cut out a circle for your head. And if a half circle feels too hard, you could always take a marker and draw a half circle like this. And then follow those lines to cut it. Let's see. All right. I think that will probably work. We're going to start here. And next, you want to decide which is the front and which is the back. Remember, this is now a hole in between, which is where your head is going to go. On mine, there's a lot of ads on the back. So I'm going to use this part with a lot of the text, and I'm going to decorate it. So you can decorate it with whatever you want. If you can get out some markers or crayons, colored pencils, even just a one colored pen would work great. Oh, hi, Spruce. That was my puppy. Puppies are always welcome to join. All right, so I did some really simple decorations on mine. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna open up the newspaper and I'm gonna make a slit down the front side. Just like that. So now I've cut it, up, I've cut it apart. So I'll be able to put it over my head. And again, it's gonna fit you a little bit better, but now I've got the top to an outfit. You could make a grass skirt but actually be a newspaper skirt if you wanted to. You could make a belt, you could make a sash that could go across. You can make all sorts of newspaper fashion from very simple materials. All right, what we're gonna do next is we are gonna work on a bracelet from newspaper. For this bracelet, I'm gonna open up the newspaper, again, just one sheet, and I'm gonna cut a strip. So now I've got a um, smaller strip of the newspaper, and then I'm gonna fold it. So I'm gonna keep folding. So I fold it over once, and now I'm gonna fold it over again, like that and keep going until I've reached the end of that strip of newspaper. Now, this could be a necklace. I only want a bracelet, so I'm gonna measure it. Putting it on my wrist, I'm gonna bring it closer and closer together. And then I'm gonna cut it so that it's just one size. And now, before we attach it, we can decorate it. And you could decorate it with stickers, you could get out magazines and glue down magazines. Of course, you can get out markers. So, I drew some suns because I've been really appreciating the sunshine that's been out the last couple of days. And then a little bit of tape. It could be scotch tape. It could be some of the um, blue kind of masking tape, like painter's tape, if you have some of that from an old project. 
And now I wanna be able to take it on and off, so that's how I'm gonna measure it. And I'm gonna put a little bit of tape right on the end there so that it's secure. Now I've got a bracelet. All right, our last high fashion newspaper trend is actually this bow that I've been wearing right here. So for a bow, what you're gonna do is take another strip of newspaper. So you're gonna cut down a little bit of the newspaper. And if you want a really big bow, you could use this. That would make it longer and bigger. If you wanted slightly smaller bow, you could do something like this. And now we are gonna fan fold this paper. So it'll start with just a fold at the top, and then we're gonna fold it back the other way. So we're gonna fold it forward, and then if you want to, you can flip it over to fold it back. And you should come out with something that looks like this accordion kind of papering as you keep folding it back and forth. And you'll wanna fold it all the way to the end until you've made your last fold. So all together, it looks like this. If I spread it out, it would look more of like that accordion shape. So you wanna keep it all together. And then you wanna find something that can help you keep it together in the middle. It could be as simple as a stapler. If you could staple, if you have a stapler, you could staple that. It could be something like a rubber band or a ribbon. You could fasten it in the middle. Whatever you have, a regular rubber band, a ribbon that you could tie in the middle, anything like that. And that ribbon is gonna do two things. One, it is going to make sure that your bow stays together in the center. And then I can spread this out on either side. Cause then that'll make it look like the bow. See how I fanned those out. And then we're gonna use a simple bobby pin or if you have a different kind of clip at home that works great to attach it to the end of this either ribbon or newspaper, uh, excuse me, um, rubber band or whatever else. And that is what you'll be able to then slip it into your hair with, just like I'm wearing. Thanks so much for joining us and can't wait to see you next time for Young at Art at Home series. Bye.